It's been well known for years that Activision Blizzard, well, kind of sucks. The worst. Do they have good games? Sure. But it's public knowledge that they're the furthest thing from a professional company and is certainly not the kind of company that you can root for. Now, chickens are coming home to roost. I'm Troy from Arcs on Games, and today we're talking about Microsoft bringing the hammer down on their newly acquired property. Now, on with the story. The link to the article I'm covering can be found in the video description. Microsoft reveals more changes for Xbox as Activision Blizzard CEO steps down. Following the confirmed departure of controversial Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick, Microsoft is restructuring its new Xbox game studio. According to The Verge, Kotick will officially step down as the head of Activision Blizzard on December 29th. During Kotick's leadership of Activision Blizzard, a frat boy workplace culture developed and grew within the studio. The developers behind Overwatch 2, Diablo 4, and Call of Duty were sued for failing to address its toxic workplace problem that led to spicification among employees. Employees. Yes, I'm censoring for the YouTube overlords. Additionally, Activision Blizzard was also sued for failing to protect the whistleblowers who spoke up about the situation. Why are you the way that you are? It was only a matter of time, right? I mean, Microsoft is actually ran professionally, and Activision Blizzard has had a reputation, as the article points out, of insufferable behavior. There was no actual leadership in this company, it would seem. Back in June, Bounding Into Comics even had an article that mentioned, first Activision Blizzard transparency report reveals over 30 employee complaints were filed in 2022, including harassment, discrimination, and retaliation. There was also the controversy over pulling the Nick Merck's custom skin from Call of Duty. They They've been under fire for allegations of using AI to moderate speech in their game lobbies, and it goes on and on. But back to the article. Matt Booty. <laughs> Matt Booty. I'm a child. Microsoft's game content and studio president will oversee Activision Blizzard, in addition to Bethesda and ZeniMax Studios, the respective leadership of Activision, Blizzard, and King, Candy Crush Saga, will remain the same. Jill Braff, former consumer research manager for Nintendo and Sega's director of marketing, is now the head of the ZeniMax Bethesda Studios. Bill Spencer released the usual corporate gobbledygook statement, wishing everyone the best in their future endeavors and talking about who's taking over for them. He claims at the end of his statement that the day-to-day -day stuff won't change and business won't be interrupted heading into 2024. Sure, Jan. I guess we'll see, but all we can do really is hope for the best and assume that Microsoft is trying to rid the rot from the culture of Activision Blizzard. Bad, bad people. For anyone upset over how insanely woke and anti-gamer Activision Blizzard has seemed over the past few years, Buckle up, buckaroo! because it's not gonna get any better. Microsoft itself is a Silicon Valley tech giant and full-throatedly endorses the same policies. So the grip of censorship, diving headfirst into political issues they have no business being involved in, and cracking down on hate speech in the gaming world will not go away anytime soon. Everything is garbage. Oh, uh, no. Activision Blizzard went woke and was about to go broke, but they met their big green savior with Xbox, so they're going to keep chugging along. And as far as people who most likely helped to foster, or at least never worked to shut it down, a bad atmosphere like Bobby Kotick, I'm sure he got himself a nice little golden parachute and will find himself another cushy job in the tech world, making more money than any of us will ever see in our entire freaking lives. Comment down below with your thoughts on all of this. Do you support Activision Blizzard and Microsoft? Do you support the buyout? Do you think that Kotick leaving the company is a good thing? Or do you think it won't matter in the long run? And what do you see for the future of Activision Blizzard under Microsoft? Let me know down in the comment section. Also, please share this video around to everyone you know, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the little bell to be notified every time we post brand new content. I've been Troy from Marks on Games, and we'll see you next time.